in a nation of over 200 million people where diversity and complexity often present daunting challenges the story is constantly evolving nigeria despite being one of africa's economic powerhouses has had to struggle with its obligation to protect its vast borders resulting into humongous security challenges ranging from insurgencies and banditry to cyber crimes and kidnappings that have continued to go undetected but today the story is different as we mark a significant milestone in the history of the nigerian immigration service a government body saddled with the responsibility of border security border management and border governance welcome to a new dawn in the service where the future holds promise for a brighter security and intelligence management with the Bola Ahmed Tinubu Technology Innovation Complex that will now serve as the nerve center of the service and by extension the entire paramilitary agencies under the Ministry of Interior as well as other sister security outfits operating within the country. Exactly December 2023, the mission to automate and upgrade major services of the Nigerian Immigration Service was initiated, with implementation kicking off immediately through the support of President Bola Ahmed Tinumbo. Twelve months later, concerted efforts and actions have followed through, and what started out as mere thoughts have metamorphosed into a major landmark sitting at the Nigeria Immigration Service Headquarters in Salka, Abuja. The multi-billion Naira project is a sophisticated complex housing some of the most advanced technological security solutions that compete globally while serving as a blueprint for the rest of Africa. On the right wing is the command and control center where every person entering into the country can be pre-profiled all things to the integration of the Advanced Passenger Information System APIS. In its situation room, trained personnel of the service remotely monitor the inflow of people through all international airports and promptly flag down persons of interest. And with the API or PNR technology enabled, never again can people on global security watch lists access the country. Right in the heart of the complex is the data center, an 8.3 petabyte storage system that will now house the data of the entire ministry's agencies. It will interest you to know that for over 60 years, the Nigerian Immigration Service has had to rely on storing vital information of citizens in paper files resulting in inadequate storage space, laborious processes and a reliance on fragile paper archives. But with the new data center, the service can now comfortably warehouse its data without fear of loss or damage. And most importantly, they can be easily retrieved at any given point of need. Data to be stored in the Dell Tier 4 data center will include passport enrollment data, visa application data, and a host of security information for processing storage and dissemination and as we put the data center to use it becomes the backbone of our digital infrastructure that will avail the ministry an opportunity to provide secure and efficient data management service beyond advancing the service of the nigerian immigration service the data center will now save government over 300 million naira annually in cost of storing passport data the e-gates infrastructure is another major component of the complex. Although installed in all international airports, it is monitored from the command and control center at the Nigeria Immigration Service Headquarters. The facility streamlines Nigeria's border control processes by making it faster and more convenient for travelers to enter and exit seamlessly. All that is now required is a tap of the passport and staring into the scanner for facial recognition, verification and authentication which can be concluded in only 20 seconds. Next 
is the Visa Approval Center, VAC, that will provide a one-stop shop for visa applications. The idea is to make it easier and more efficient for foreigners to visit the country by leveraging technology to combat the avoidable delays that have characterized the old approval process of visas. With its advanced technology and streamlined processes, this center will drastically contribute to the promotion of tourism, trade and cultural exchange between our nation and the rest of the world. And most importantly, visas can now be approved within 48 hours of application. And that is not all. The Bola Med Tenable Technology Innovation Complex also houses the ECOWAS National Biometrics Identity Card Center, where the service can promptly facilitate the issuance of ECOWAS cards to citizens without a passport and require to travel freely within the ECOWAS region. What better way to promote regional integration and cooperation? Also, the complex will be playing a major role in the services ambition of a new passport regime where the personalization and printing of the Nigerian passport can be managed in only two locations in the world, given that the passport is more of a security document than a traveling document. Finally, a sophisticated complex as this will require uninterrupted power supply and that's the purpose of the solar farm a pioneering addition showcasing the service's commitment to renewable energy and sustainability the facility boasts of an impressive 4.1 megawatt battery storage capacity with a remarkable 5 megawatt output it is estimated that the solar farm alone of greed is capable of supplying an uninterrupted 72 hours of power to the entire complex. During its test phase in the last 30 days, over 10 persons of interest have been flagged as they made their way to enter the country at various entry points. Indeed, it's a beacon of hope with the Bola Med Tunable Technology Innovation Complex and this is just the beginning in the nation's journey of innovation and progress.